Hi guys, so this video is going to be a little bit different. I wanted to show you how I do sunken rooms and raised platforms or split levels. Uh, so this is Jenna, she's going to test everything out for us once we're done. Let's go inside. So I thought this could be the living room and we can do a sunken lounge or sunken living room, a sunken seating area. So this is the way I do it. You first surround the area or block it off if you want to do a sunken room. Just do some walls and close it and then you click on the walls and you just go to raise platform or lower platform. So I'm gonna do three clicks for the sunken lounge and then all you do is go in and delete the walls. So it's actually really easy. That's how I do it. You can use the plat platform tools as well but I just prefer to do it this way. I find it easier. And we can just... what are we gonna use? Maybe that. So you just go into your platform trims and then you can use this one for now and maybe put some 70s style carpets uh, maybe orange carpets ah oh, this might be perfect and we're gonna need some stairs as well and there is a little sunken room and we can add some seating I think I actually might use these Just see if Jenna is able to sit. So there we go. Perfect. It's a little sunken area. And we can maybe do a raised kitchen over here. Just need to how big shall we make it? Maybe, maybe just again. Let's just move that light. And just make sure you click on it and we can raise platform maybe. If you only raise it one you don't need to use stairs. If you raise it more than once then you're going to need stairs and if you raise it too far then your sim won't be able to walk on the platform. Okay, so let's just delete this wall. See. Okay, and then just add some stairs. I'm gonna just use the same ones over here. Use the same stone. Go. Let's quickly do a kitchen for her. So then if we want to place our maybe our dining room table on a higher level. Just again, build a wall and raise platform and then just go in and delete the walls. Just put our half wall back. So let's see if Jenna K 
can get everything in her kitchen. She is hungry, so let's get her to cook something. So poor old Jenna is so exhausted, she's fallen asleep on the floor. So you can also do things like a sunken shower. I think you need to have, oh you need Discover University or Snowy Escape to do these custom showers. What you do is just to a wall, click on the wall and just, I normally just do one click with the showers and then just delete the walls, so I think we'll use that one. If you add your walls back, you can do, I think Spa Day has a nice window you can use. door as well and then you have a custom shower Let's add some platform trim so there you have a custom shower that is functional so there we go I normally would take the walls away or you can have it without the door. It's entirely up to you, you can play around. I'll just leave the door for now. I might have to move this window. Let's just move the window to there. We've got a custom shower, then she just needs toilets and let's give her a basin. So also if you wanted to put the bed on a platform, I don't know why anyone would want the bed raised, but if you wanted to, same thing, you just Draw some walls and a couple of clicks. I'm just going to do one for this, otherwise, she's going to need stairs to get to her bed and just break the walls down. So, that is how you to a sunken room or a split level home, raised platforms. It's actually pretty easy and you can play around. Let's just finish this house quickly. So we can try a raised dance floor. Let's see how that works. So we have a dance floor, but Jenna does not want to dance because she is too uncomfortable. Oh dear. And she's just messed on her dance floor. Oh. So 
So there we go. A split level home. Sunken rooms. So we have the sunken living room. Little eating area over here. And kitchen. Jenna is a dance machine, so she has a dance floor in her house. Bedroom. Good night, Jenna.